Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist. I treat diabetes every day and I am going to answer a common question today, which is the symptoms of high blood sugar. So what do you feel like when you have high? Now a lot of people uh, who are dealing with diabetes at some point in their life may have felt that they had uh, the low blood sugar symptoms, right? So it, it doesn't feel good. It's very easily identifiable. But today I'm going to talk to you about high blood sugar symptoms. Now, how do you really know uh, that your blood sugars are high? Now, one thing before we jump to that, guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give a thumbs up, make sure you share this video if you like it. Now, back to the topic, guys. So. A lot of people will sometimes will tell me in, in, my, in my clinic, they'll be like, oh, doc, I don't check my blood sugar. I'm like, why? They'll be like, oh, well, I can feel it. What's your blood sugar right now? Uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll always be wrong. Now, you know, your feelings are not going to always tell you what your blood sugar is. So I wouldn't recommend just by going by your feelings. I'm just going to tell you that if you didn't check your blood sugar and you don't feel right, and what symptoms can be related to high blood sugars. Number one, you're going to start going to the bathroom a lot. Here's why it happens. Your kidneys can only hold on to sugar so much. So after 220 blood sugar in diabetics, if your blood sugar is staying above 220 for a while, you're going to dump that sugar into your bladder. And as a result, you will end up peeing a bunch of sugar and the sugar attracts water. So you're going to end up urinating a lot. And that's going to make you what? thirsty of course so you're gonna urinate a lot you're gonna be thirsty you're gonna drink more water and you're gonna feel like you can drink all the water in the world you'll still be thirsty that's a problem if you don't have diabetes you may have diabetes so you better check your blood sugar or get tested you're going to feel tired as well why because if your body is not using the sugar that's running in your system it's like having a bank account with five million dollars but you cannot pay your rent that's a problem right it's painful it's fatigue it's gonna cause problems and that's that's your muscles will not be able to get this glucose and as a result you are going to feel very tired and of course it's gonna come with headache as well again your brain runs on the glucose the moment that your brain your your brain is not able to get that glucose then you are going to be in trouble and it's gonna trigger a headache not just high blood sugars but fluctuations in your blood sugars as well sometimes people will tell me hey if my blood sugar goes down to 110 I have a headache well that's not because 110 blood sugar causes a headache it's because they are normally running up to 200 300 and then sudden drop in the blood sugar will definitely trigger a headache as well so fluctuations are definitely a problem now if your blood sugars are also running high your lens in your eyes will swell and you will start having blurry vision so don't think that you're going blind it's totally reversible but you're going to have blurry vision and that's not going to feel right Having said that, uh, if you don't do anything about these symptoms and you continue to ignore yourself, and hopefully you don't, but if you do, uh, you may end up with something like called DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, diabetic ketoacidosis typically happens in type 1 patients. However, type 2 diabetic patients can end up with diabetic ketoacidosis, especially if they're on certain drugs that can make them prone to it, or if they leave their blood sugar staying running high for a prolonged period of time. Uh, what happens is we call that glucotoxicity, uh, which means that the glucose, the high glucose levels, will basically paralyze your pancreas, and your pancreas will stop making insulin. So what are the diabetic ketoacidosis symptoms? You're going to have nausea, you're going to have abdominal pain, you may vomit, and the acidotic state will set in, and that's not cool so basically you are going to also have this bad breath that sounds like uh, spoiled fruit and uh, nobody wants to be around you uh, so you're gonna feel weak you may feel confused you may breathe rapidly because your body will try to excrete that excessive acid through breathing okay so these are the main problems associated with diabetes again diabetic ketoacidosis is the advanced like the towards the end stage of uh, diabetes uh, symptoms uh, on that scale but if you are feeling excessive urination if you're having excessive urination if you're feeling thirsty a lot uh, if you're feeling headache weak tired uh, those are uh, the symptoms of uh, high blood sugars definitely blurred vision definitely can be a, a, a quick uh, tip for you if you don't feel any of these some people's eyes are very sensitive uh, to glucose changes as well so you may uh, realize the blurry vision faster than some other symptoms sometimes so I hope that was useful guys so please make sure you subscribe give a thumbs up and like our video and we'll see you in the next one